Hey y'all, Stamen here from Deco Exchange. A little surprise pop-on today. I had to come see all the new supplies and then I had to shop. And then I was like, you know what? Let's just play with some of them. All right, so I'm gonna use this 10 inch mesh. I'm gonna cut it in 18 inch strips. We're gonna need 18 of them. So y'all, we're cutting these 18 inches um, because we want to have enough for one ruffle in every twist tie. And to do that, we need the math to work. All right, let's start adding some of these. For the ruffle, we're just going to let the two ends curl just a little bit and then crunch it up down the middle. Get a nice little ruffle, and we're going to go all the way around. All right, we went all the way around the bottom. Let's add some around the top. On this frame, there's 10 ties on the bottom and 8 on the top. All right, so our base is done. Now we can take our little sun. So you see how this sun has a curved edge? So on the curved edge sign, I don't mind using a metal hole punch and then poking a hole in the sun as close to the edge as possible. All right, let's get this tied off. On this one down here. All right, now we can just pick a spot for this. Looks like a good place. I can't. All right, so let's get ourselves some bow made. Y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this section off. All right, let's go about six inches. Turns out to be about six and a half. So y'all, we're just making an X. All right, we need three of these, y'all. So let's go ahead and make all three. Now, when I add my bows, I always add one on the top, one on the bottom first. Then I add the one in the middle. All right, then we're going to go to the top, add our next bow. All right, so y'all, now when we add our bow at the top and the bottom, we can clearly see where the gap is in the middle. All right, let's trim these tails out dovetail. So y'all, I'm just going around and dovetailing all the, the tails.
All right, so let's get some tails cut. I'm going to use the two one and a half inch ribbons and I'm gonna cut enough tails for the bottom. So there's 10. So I'm going to take the two ribbon tails, fold them together, fold them in half, and then add two tails to every twist half. Now y'all, I don't know if you can notice, but where you can still see my twist ties, um, they just look like part of the wreath. So there's no reason to come back in here and cut them off. If I had used some color that didn't match, then we'd have a situation. So I need to add this tie here at the top, but you can't really see that one. What I can really see is this spot right here that needs a little bit of something. So I'm gonna put it at the bottom instead. Y'all, simple. Nice and simple. The most important part is to make sure that if you have a heavy bow side, that you bring those colors around to the other side. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go home. I have my own homework to do while uh, Coach Mel is live. Um, y'all, I hired someone to help produce our podcast and I hired someone to make me get the book written. So. I have my own homework to go do for our business, and I'm pretty sure some of y'all have some to work on too. Um, if not, we will see you guys live at eight o'clock in the coaching group if you're there. If you're not there, you can check it out at damonscreativecoaching.com. And uh, yeah, see you guys in a bit. Bye, y'all.